I do not believe anything very certainly, but everything very probably the world is my country. Science my religion one may conceive light to spread successively, by spherical waves it is surrounded by a thin flat ring, inclined to the ecliptic, and nowhere touches the body of the planet. There are many degrees of probable, some nearer truth than others, in the determining of which lies the chief exercise of our judgment. How vast those orbs must be, and how inconsiderable this earth, the theater upon which all our mighty designs, all our navigations, and all our wars are transacted, is when compared to them. A very fit consideration, and matter of reflection, for those kings and princes who sacrifice the lives of so many people, only to flatter their ambition in being masters of some pitiful corner of this small spot. What a wonderful and amazing scheme have we here of the magnificent vastness of the universe. So many suns, so many earths, and every one of them stocked with so many earths, and every one of them stocked with so many herbs, trees, and animals. And adorned with so many seas and mountains. And how must our wonder and admiration be increased when we consider the prodigious distance and multitude of the stars. It's evident God had no design to make a particular enumeration in the Holy Scriptures, of all the works of His creation. What a wonderful and amazing scheme have we here of the magnificent vastness of the universe! So many suns, so many earths! Great difficulties are felt at first, and these cannot be overcome except by starting from experiments, and then be conceiving certain hypotheses, but even so, very much hard work remains to be done and one needs not only great perspicacity but often a degree of good fortune. Here we may mount from this dull earth, and viewing it from on high, consider whether nature has laid out all her cost and finery upon this small speck of dirt. The rest of the planets have their dress and furniture, nay and their inhabitants too as well as this earth of ours. I esteem his understanding and subtlety highly but I consider that they have been put to ill use in the greater part of his work. Where the author studies things of little use or when he builds on the improbable principle of attraction. Writing about Newton's Principia. Huygens had some time earlier indicated he did not believe the theory of universal gravitation. Saying it appears to me absurd. We shall be less apt to admire what this world calls great shall nobly despise those trifles the generality of men set their affections on, when we know that there are a multitude of such earths. Inhabited and adorned as well as our own. These gentlemen must be told, that they take too much upon themselves when they pretend to appoint how far and no farther men shall go in their searches, and to set bounds to other men's industry.